Uh, Michelle, we all talked to Felice before you got here, uh -oh. and she gave you a lot of credit. She Aww. said that you are one of the OG, that's why she's always wanted to fight you. Uh, do you feel the same about her? Of course. I, I've been talking to people about this all, um, the, the entire day. It's, 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 it's a credit to the both of us that we've come up, it's been over a decade, and that we're both still here in the top ten fighting on one of the UFC's most historic events ever. So, yes, it's, it's awesome. And you guys are both in a room full of guys, and you both have the longest lines. Kind of bad. Badass for the both of you. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it any day. <laughs> you guys have been in the divi this sport for a long time, been in this division for a long time. Is it almost weird that you haven't fought each other? Like, did this feel inevitable? It, it was inevitable, and I'm sure she's talked about this before, but we were supposed to fight before. And, I mean, any the, the division is so small. They are starting to add more girls to the division. But eventually, we're all going to end up having to fight each other, for sure. And uh, weigh-ins are tomorrow for you, cutting weight. How has it been? How do you feel? I, you guys, I used to fight at 105, okay? Now, when I fought at 105, I was losing eyelashes. But 115 is, is, um, is a walk in the park. And, and I love it that way because I can train on my, um, I can focus on my training. I can push harder. I can eat more. And I don't feel guilty sneaking uh, chicken nuggets from my daughter's dinner plate. Is there one meal that you're looking forward to tomorrow after it's all said and done? I don't know. Like I said, I, um, this weight cut has been so good. I actually, um, my, my nutritionist made me uh, eat a burger last week because um, I was just, I was, my metabolism just kicked up like out of nowhere. So I haven't been really craving anything savory. Now, if you want to talk about sweets, every time I pass by the Cinnabon marquee, uh, that's a different story. So yeah, the sweets is what gets me. You bring up your daughter. How important is it for her to see you kind of in this spotlight and come to all the fights? Uh, I think it's it's really important. She sacrifices a lot um, because of mommy's job. You know, sometimes we don't get to go to some of her school events. Sometimes she misses school. Sometimes I don't see her. Um, I can't help her with her homework sometimes because I'm training. Um, and so I know that she sacrifices a lot of mommy time. And so it's important for me to, to bring her along the journey because she is a part of the journey. She's she's a part of the team and she's the, the one of the reasons why I'm able to train as hard as I am is because she understands so yeah if I could I'd, I'd put her in my corner <laughs> good luck on Saturday thank you. thank you Michelle what's it like have been like the last few months with all the drama I guess going around at Jackson Winkle John how have you managed to keep yourself out of that and keep focused on yourself I just, I just keep myself out of it, you know. Um, I love Donald and I love Coach Wink and really um, when it comes to the gym and the training, nothing has changed. Um, the camaraderie is still there, the family dynamic is still there, um, the hard work is still there. Uh, the beef is between Coach Wink and Donald, they're both grown men and they're very, very much so like-minded and, and so, it, you know, it was, it was inevitable that was going to happen. That you know, change is inevitable, evolution is inevitable, and um, I know that eventually that they'll be able to sort their issues out. Coach Wink has been working a lot with John over the last like few weeks and I guess the last few months as well. What's it like having John back in like the the training room and also looking forward to a fight, no doubt soon. John has always been around. You know, he 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 stays around. He helps out when he can. He's a great teammate. I know last time at Glendale, you were almost very emotional after the fight. Coming into this one, I mean, does it feel like there's a monkey off your bat? Like, what is the feeling coming into this one? Uh, you know, I just kind of come full circle, I would say, that it's kind of, and that's just the evolution of a fighter's journey. It's like the seasons um, in a year, and I've just come to accept that. Uh, with each fight, no matter the outcome, I am always learning and growing, and and I've embraced that, and I've really decided to enjoy everything that's going on this fight week and the magnitude of it all, and take all of that energy and use it towards my fight. Do you still enjoy this game, just all of it, as much as you used to? I love it more and more every day. It's insane um, how, uh, I mean, as a martial artist, you, you, you can never cease to, to learn. And I'm realizing that there are so many more things that I need to learn as a fighter and as a martial artist. And, and I'm just grateful to have the opportunity to do so. What is your assessment of Felice at this point in her career? Do you feel like the best is behind her or is she getting better? 
I feel like Felice has make, um, taken the opportunity, opportunities to grow, especially after her loss against uh, Paige. I think that she decided to develop her grappling game a little bit more. Um, I, I do feel like there was a bit of a chip on her shoulder when they kept um, matching her up with a lot of these uh, up-and-comers and she kept having to prove herself. Um, but I think it's done her a lot of good in the sense that she um, has had to develop and has still um, has the hunger to um, to be here, you know. Um, but with that being said, I feel like I have more tools in my toolbox and that I have always developed and grown and evolved as a fighter and have been able to showcase all my different skills within each one of my fights. Is there anything extra that comes with being on a, a, a big, giant blockbuster card like this where you know so many people will be watching? It's only extra if you haven't prepared for it, and I have prepared for it, and I'm ready. Well, then my final question, and I'm sure you've gotten this a lot, Conor McGregor versus Khabib Nurmagomedov, just how do you see that breaking down? How do you see it playing out? It's funny because I really enjoy um, how entertaining Conor is, and um, both inside and outside of the octagon. Um, <clears throat> Conor is a master at range and distance and accuracy and it only takes one punch to end a fight. Um, sometimes Khabib can be reckless coming in for his shots but once he gets a hold of you there's there's no turning back. It's a five round fight and I suspect that uh, Khabib is going to come out ahead in the fight and win. Thank you so much Michelle. Thank you.